What's going on there folks? Good afternoon, good morning still to some out here. Uh, it is the Earth Master on this Tuesday, May 24th, date 2022, about 11.56 a.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 3.9 earthquake here. Uh, into the area around Haiti, it looks like. Let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here. Seen a little swarm of activity around Puerto Rico. Uh, again, in that specific region. USGS showing some of this movement here uh, north of the Dominican Republic and north here of the Puerto Rico Trench. Been kind of tracking that uh, activity over the last couple days, looking at the all magnitudes here in this map. Doesn't really add too much more in terms of earthquake activity. Uh, the EMSC model is the one uh, to check for some of that movement around the Haiti area. Let's go ahead and see what we got uh, kicking up here. Uh, in this uh, little map, there's that 3.9 earthquake. Let's see if I can zoom in up here to this area. 3.9 around the Haiti area. Looks like about uh, four kilometer depth there. So pretty shallow earthquake activity. And uh, as I mentioned, a little bit of activity around Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rico Trench today as well. So kind of watching that region, South America along the Peru Chile Trench getting some activity uh, overnight looks like at least one a 5.4 into the Peru region at 148 kilometers pretty deep activity there and uh, South Sandwich Islands this one from last night 5.3 we haven't seen any uh, further movement taking place here in this area overnight so kind of dying off down there in the southern part of the Atlantic Ocean uh, over here in Fiji a 5.3 well, actually around the Tonga region Samoa within the Tonga Trench right here, 478 kilometers for that 5.3. And uh, looks like overnight we did see another deep movement earthquake just south of this region of 4.7 at uh, 533 kilometers. So pretty deep activity striking within that region. Um, some older movement around the Vanuatu area and the majority of this activity here through the Philippines and up through Tokyo or the uh, Japan region is from late last night and earlier uh, this morning, no major swarming to take note of along the Western Pacific currently. Uh, we did have this earthquake here. Well, north of Japan into the Kurokamchaka Trench around Russia. This earthquake struck at uh, 118 kilometers for the 4.1. This was last night uh, during that time frame. Alaska region still showing a little bit of activity along the Aleutian Trench. No major swarms to take note of along that area. Uh, looking at the western part of the United States, not a whole lot going on through the Washington area or Oregon. We'll verify that data here in just a little bit with the recorded seismographs. Did have some activity once again kick up into the uh, Sacramento Valley area. Uh, during the update, uh, we had a, uh, uh, well, shortly after the update, I should say, we had another 2.6 down here, a little bit deeper into the area of Hamilton City. I know we got the Sacramento River that runs through here, but a lot of this deep movement uh, activity we see in Northern California is due to the trimmer activity taking place here um, upstream up towards the, uh, the locked area of the Cascadia subduction zone. We tend to see it quite often in this area, and uh, especially when we got uh, quite a bit of swarming going on with the trimmer. Uh, typical activity there at Cobb Mountain around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. Bay area, Bay area looks pretty quiet aside from a 1.2. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of movement taking place here on the San Andreas Fault Zone. A little activity on the creeping section, which is very typical. And uh, looks like a little quiet activity through Long Valley Super Volcano. Ridgecrest still showing some movement, although most of that from yesterday. And down here in the southern part of the state, little activity bumping around the Riverside area and the San Jacinto Fault Zone. But other than that, not a lot of not a lot of activity in California today. Uh, same for the Nevada region, just a couple spotty microquakes throughout that area. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, they are showing a little swarm of activity here. Uh, looks like on the Idaho side here of the border between Idaho and Washington, right? Or maybe that's Montana. Looks like we're into Montana there. Uh, low activity it looks like around the Hebgen Lake area. Let's go ahead and see what we got for the Yellowstone 
seismograph overview here and there's not a whole lot there's some errors going on up there on that station looks like maybe a couple small microquakes in the mix here but uh, overall like I say it looks pretty quiet across the park no major swarms to take note of at the moment there at uh, Yellowstone. I'll go ahead and bounce out of here real quick. Check out the Southern Plains in Texas. Not a whole lot. One earthquake over here around the Arizona, New Mexico border. 2.9 near Franklin, Arizona. 16 kilometers and some activity in Western Texas. Once again, Oklahoma getting a uh, couple small microquakes out there scattered about the state and the eastern part of the country aside from this one earthquake here that struck uh, overnight it looks like a 2.6 in the Tennessee region at uh, almost 20 kilometers pretty deep earthquake there in that region um, Hawaii no major changes to report at the volcanoes uh, still showing some activity around Kilauea volcano and the southeastern uh, flank area of the big island as far as any updates go on the volcano there at Kilauea we'll go ahead and check out the latest daily update from the HVO folks still sits at a uh, alert level of watch and the aviation code around the orange or at the orange I should say uh, the summit eruption within the crater continued over the past 24 hours all recent lava activity has been confined to the crater and current data indicate that this scenario is likely to continue no significant changes have been noted in the summit or the east rift zone. So still uh, still doing its thing out there. Uh, no major changes as noted here um, from the HVO folks. As far as the Alaskan Volcano Observatory, quite a few. Uh, this was actually put out yesterday here uh, on the Great Sitkin Volcano. Still sitting at watch in orange. Clouds observed. Obscured views of the volcano over the past day but recent observations of elevated surface temperatures and lava flow uh, advance over the past week suggests a lava effusion likely continues no significant seismic activity was detected over the last day uh, it is possible that new explosive activity could occur with little or no warning so still sitting at an orange and watch level uh, same for the rest of those volcanoes uh, that are listed here on this map i'm not going to read through all of them here but these are the current ones in Alaska, um, Hawaii, uh, Northern California, nothing, no elevated volcanoes, and also throughout the Cascades as well. Uh, checking out the trimmer map here from yesterday, still showed quite, quite a bit of trimmer. <coughs> Goodness, this came out of the blue. Again, quite a bit of trimmer here along the Pacific Northwest, folks. Um, Northern California and the Washington area. 645 epicenters of trimmer um let's check out real quick mount st helens and see what's going on uh, i think we got humidity levels here in california down to about seven percent today and that is extremely dry i'm feeling it it's supposed to be 101 with uh, seven percent humidity but it's a dry heat right no i'd rather have moisture in the air trust me moisture prevents this type of stuff in my throat earthquake activity uh, Mount St. Helens here at the dome station September low but looks like still got quite a bit of earthquake activity around the summit and within the past few hours this morning showing all that earthquake activity you guys see all that quite a bit still continuing to swarm there at Mount St. Helens with no reports of any earthquake activity at all um, since the 13th it's like they've completely turned off any reporting so 11 days now of uh no activity to report but we see it we see it clear as day on the seismographs go ahead and check out uh let's see what else we check out mount rainier has been showing some activity as well we'll go over this one real quick and see if they're showing some movement as well in this area maybe any day there we go um doo -doo 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 -doo. 
A couple small earthquakes. Doesn't look as active as it was the previous day. Some very small microquakes recorded there at the Mount Rainier volcano. Uh, but aside from that, definitely not as active as Mount St. Helens has been showing on the uh, on the map. Solar weather activity. Let's go ahead and zip over here. Not going to make this a super long update. But I am going to get uh, just try to cover the basis here of everything. Uh, the basics. Looks like we're looking towards a downward trend of solar um, x-ray flux over the last one minute data. This is a three day map showing a, a little bit of elevated activity uh, late last night. But now we're looking like we're going down in terms of uh, solar flares. Looks like the dynamics here are um, not super great for any type of uh, magnetic field tangling or sparking so to speak in creating a flare a couple new developments here but overall things just kind of a uh, pretty minimal little coronal hole facing us uh, and one there towards the bottom of the solar of uh, the uh, sun not for sure if that's going to play a part in any significant uh changes here in the geomagnetic forecast it looks pretty green across the board no expected storms and as uh, far as flare activity goes i think this um i don't think we don't i don't think we have a five percent chance of an x flare but uh, uh maybe a maybe a m flare kicking off here maybe that's a big maybe uh c flare at 99 percent certainty but of course i don't know if these guys even updated their uh recent probabilities today or not but uh, either way, it is what it is. We'll deal with it, and hopefully we'll get some uh, activity here pretty soon from some other sunspots that may be uh, rotating into view. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Uh, got somewhat of a busy day. Got fires starting out here in California already. Got one just uh, north of me by, uh, oh, man, just about 10 miles or so. And I've got the north wind just blowing smoke down here. Pretty safe here in this area where I'm at. But uh, getting these random fires starting up all over the place now, it's just very odd. There's no lightning storms. Uh, there's, you know, it's just it's suspicious. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, no major forest fires currently. But uh, it's getting to that time of year, folks. They call it fire season. Years past, we never had a fire season. Yeah, it was dry, but we never had any of these big fires. It's just very suspicious is the key terms all right guys i'm gonna bounce out of here have a great day we will chat you guys a little bit later tonight have a good one